All right, this is this is a moment. I'm having a moment with these wolves. <laughs> bringing up another 24 tons of material in about half an hour or so. It's like 11 o'clock, so before lunch. The material is going down in the bottom of this valley here. Hey, Chad. Hi, guys. Hey. I know that, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's a fellow bald guy here, all right, yeah. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Good, yeah. Ed Ballou, everybody knows Ed, right? Ed Ballou from Aquascape. I'm like starstruck, you know, my idol. You know. And we got Deanna, obviously, from the Wildlife Waste Station. She's been an angel helping us get everything in here. All right, so that's not making it all the way to the bottom, obviously. We're gonna put this, we got 24 ton of like, two to five inch material nice. right there. We're gonna put it all right there. They have a loader that has a three yard bucket. Exactly, so that can load everything so right here. Go, yeah. yeah, so that would yeah. be pretty quick. And then the little bobcat down there. We'll shuffle back and forth. Yeah. We gotta get by the gatekeepers here though. <laughs> Where we put it right there. Perfect landing. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna build you guys a water feature here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of stuff going on. Ed's here. We're about to have lunch right now. And Greg and the boys are all coming into town. And we're gonna have some fun up there at the Wildlife Way Station. So let's do this. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 I had to come say hi to the boys. They're going out. They're getting the, the day started. We're uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got two big projects we're building right at the moment. We have the wildlife waste station going on right now up the street. So you can see the boys are getting ready to go up to their projects right now. The Bobcat and all the materials are up there at wildlife waste station right now. We have those two projects and the wildlife waste station going on and about 40 contractors all meeting us up there. These aren't just regular contractors, they're certified aquascape contractors. They're the cream of the crop of the guys that build ponds in the world. They're all meeting up the street right now, so I'm gonna shoot up there and let's go. All right, have a good day, guys. See ya. Doing some vlogging with these guys right now. How you doing? Just waking up. I brought you Michigan. Okay. Indiana. Oh, how you doing? Hey. That's a midway. That's a Midwest handshake right. right there. Number two to show up here. All right, good. Yeah. All right, Buenos dias, everybody. It is about 8:30 in the morning. We are here at the Wildlife Way Station, as you can see. We got all the contractors outside. We got Greg and Ed and the boys out there. So let's go take a look. We're gonna get this build started. And it's a beautiful day. I mean, it's probably like 70 degrees out here. It's gonna be very interesting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, like this post, and we're gonna do some pretty cool projects here today. So you wanna keep up to date with uh, what we're doing. So yeah, I'll, I'll trip and fall into this pit at some point today. Hopefully my camera's on when that does happen. Roughly a 20 by 20 foot hole, four feet deep. We're gonna be 
leveling the bottom of this off, putting a layer of underlayment and liner down in the bottom. We're gonna run our plumbing, it's gonna come around the side over here, and then we're gonna put a layer of aqua blocks at the bottom of this thing. So once the layer of the aqua blocks are in the bottom, we're gonna start bringing in the rock that we have out there. We're gonna eventually have a whole wetland filter here that's gonna be completely leveled off. It's gonna have water that's gonna be flowing through it and then going in here into the alligator pen. Let's do it! All right. Well, everybody's lined out here. As you can see, Ed's got a good control of this place. We are gonna get busy. So I'm assuming the alligators are out. Let's scare somebody. <laughs> you got me good. <laughs> there we go. That's how we started. <laughs> Then we're going to dig out all right here and create a footing so the liner can go down deep. Okay. Over flat, over the block, go down, and then we run a new liner from yeah, there. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to cut a strip of this off. But bring some concrete tomorrow and like a stainless steel grating, and we can okay. bolt it to the wall, set it in some concrete so no one can ever dig it out or anything. Yeah, exactly. And then you can always put other layers of screen over the top of it. Quite a trek. We should be timing this. How many loads is this going to be? Back and forth. He's cooking now. <laughs> I'm talking to my my 300 subscribers. I have. <laughs> you have a vlog, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's your vlog? Uh, Pondscapes AZ. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're we're up to uh, 1,900. All right, there we go. We're gonna have to link up with you guys. What's your bond? <laughs> what's your vlog? Uh, Volchek Gardens. Volchek Gardens. Yep. Yeah, I want to. Th we gotta get to 2,000. All right, we're in the we're in the under 500 crew. <laughs> yeah. You guys got a vlog yet in Arkansas? Okay, cool. Yeah. I think it's Rock WG. Rock. All right, whatever it is, we're putting it right there below. There it is. Lame. It's Hoagland's cake. All right, Hoagland. Well, dude, he's got 72 subscribers. I got I think, 300. So I think I got like five. All right, so let's get him some subscribers. It's a red tail hawk. We have those all over my backyard. Every day I see one of those fly over my house. And now it's up close and personal. Yeah. And Ed and I organized this. We knew we wanted to vlog it. PlayStation's been around for 42 years. Look, my husband bought the mountain lion. 1965, he paid $1,500 for the mountain lion. It was fashionable to have exotic animals as pets. Diana Doris had this. Ursula Andrews had that. This one had this. You know, this one, all of them had something different. They would call the zoo and they would say, I'd like to donate my ocelot, my monkey, my leopard, my wolf, my bear. And the zoo would say, no, thank you very much. We have all the bears and monkeys and ocelots and servals and no thank you. 
What do you do then? The Hollywood Telegraph went everywhere, and sooner or later somebody will say, didn't so-and-so marry some gal that came from Africa? And so the animals started to come. There were no regulations in California in keeping of wild animals at all across the board. So today, we've had 76,000, maybe 77,000 animals pass through our hands. We are still here. We have never gotten rich. We have never become famous. We are still the same people we were in the very, very beginning. I have wonderful staff, wonderful staff, great vets. We make decisions together. We talk about what each one observes, how we think it should be. We make a plan. If I can leave a legacy for the chimpanzees here, then everything else downstream will be fine. Beautiful problem. My pleasure, my pleasure. Off the manana. See you later, Chad. All right, we're wrapping up. It's been a long day. See you tomorrow, guys, bright and early. I'm a dog guy. And these are wolves. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just hanging with the wolves. Look at they're all over here. I'm so stoked. These guys are like ready to see me. Hey, buddy. Oh, who's a good boy? I want to pet them, but I'm not going to because I'm not stupid. All right, this is this is a moment. I'm having a moment with these wolves. Oh, they're totally chill. Oh, all right, they're closing up shop down there. Pretty cool situation we got out here. Backstage kind of access to the wildlife way station. You don't get this anywhere else, so you know, no one else is doing this kind of stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Vlog number nine in the books. I'm gonna see this thing run down there. We'll put up in the plants. It's gonna be pretty cool. Lions that come down through here. Sure. And I'll walk right behind this petting zoo and yeah. leave everything alone. Yeah, why is that? They've got enough stuff they go out hunting, rabbits and stuff. Yeah. They could drag them right over the rails. I know. They, they, they don't. don't. We're going to go down and take a peek at uh, how everything's looking with this uh, wetland filter that we're building. So as you can see, the wildlife waste station is looking really good. It's clearing up, that's for sure. It's still going to clear up even more. I got some pretty high potency bacteria I'm about to drop in there right now. And that's going to start to seed in this whole wetland filter through all that surface space on the rock. We got some more plants we're going to drop in there, but that's it for vlog number nine. Deanna, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you guys for everything you do. Thank you guys for subscribing, and we will catch you next time. Who else is doing this? Who else is doing this? Yeah. That's right, just me. Catch you next time. <laughs>